The sight of a baby sleeping peacefully is heartwarming to parents, grandparents, and others. Yet the lives of many babies are cut tragically short as the result of being put to sleep in an unsafe place or position. This is why the Tennessee Department of Health has launched a safe sleep campaign to save the lives of infants in Tennessee. We talk about the ABCs of safe sleep, and the A is for baby should sleep alone, the B is for baby should sleep on their back, and the C is for baby should sleep in a crib. So alone, on their back, in a crib. Dr. Michael Warren is director for the Tennessee Department of Health's Division of Family Health and Wellness. He hopes the ABCs of safe sleep is a message that parents, grandparents, and caregivers will remember. We feel absolutely confident that taking these simple measures will result in fewer babies dying in Tennessee. In 2011, 108 babies died while sleeping because someone rolled on top of them. They became entrapped in something and were strangled, or they were caught between an adult and another child on the back of a couch or chair. That's the equivalent of five empty kindergarten classrooms. And if you think about it, that's pretty striking to think of five classrooms that would otherwise have been filled with vibrant, and energetic, ready-to-learn children. The Tennessee Department of Health has launched its safe sleep effort to help reduce the number of babies who die from sleep-related deaths. The total number of infant deaths in Tennessee every year ranges from 500 to 600. And remember, there were 108 sleep-related deaths in 2011, so about 20% of all infant deaths are attributable to sleep-related causes. This represents a pretty substantial amount of all of our infant deaths, 20% in fact of all our infant deaths. And if we were able to eliminate those, we would move from a point where we're about 45th in our ranking for infant mortality to about the national average. And that's pretty amazing if you think about moving from 45th to 25th just by focusing on this simple message. Just like choosing to wear a seatbelt can protect you that one time you're in a life-threatening accident, choosing to follow the ABCs of safe sleep can protect your baby the one time he or she may be suffocated while sleeping. Here's how to create a safe sleep environment for your baby. When we look at this crib, it really looks like a very cozy and inviting place for this infant to be sleeping. But we know, in fact, when we look at this crib, there are a number of things here that make this crib a very hazardous and dangerous place for this baby to be sleeping. The first thing that I see that we'd want to address are the crib bumpers. If this baby were to roll over and their face were to become pressed against the crib bumper, that could pose a suffocation risk for that baby. The other thing that we think about with crib bumpers is that many times they have strings um, and the baby could become strangled if they were to become entrapped or entangled in the strings. So we want the crib bumpers to come out. The other thing that we have here in this crib that's dangerous is this stuffed animal. Again, looks very warm and cozy and plush, but if it were to fall over on the baby or if the baby were to roll over against the stuffed animal, their face could become blocked and they wouldn't be able to breathe, so we'd have a suffocation risk. So the stuffed animal needs to come out as well. As we continue to look for hazards in this crib, we notice that there are a couple of blankets in this crib. Now, if the room where the baby is sleeping is, is at a moderate temperature, and if the baby is in a single layer of clothing like a onesie or a sleep sack, you really don't need any other blankets to keep the baby warm. So we could actually remove these blankets. Again, they pose a suffocation risk if the baby's face or mouth were to be covered. The final thing that we notice when we look at this crib is that the baby is not sleeping on its back. We know that if babies sleep on their side or their stomach, they're at greater risk for suffocation while they're sleeping. So we would want to take this baby and put her to sleep on her back. So now we've really made this crib a very safe place for this baby to sleep. For more information about the Safe Sleep campaign, go to safesleep.tn.gov.